Hi everyone, welcome to our new session on nature. We will try to think several aspects of nature's ideology. This sounds abstract, but we will try to go beyond dominant ideology and to see actually what is the ideology from the perspective of nature. We will try to see several aspects and how we can deal with it. So let's start. We will use several colors here in order to start thinking about all this. And we will start with colors which are going into more light variants. So, uh, from the dominant ideology, from the position of dominant ideology, we see actually uh, nature as something which needs to be cultivated, which can be also represented as some kind of beauti beautiful abstraction, and uh, also as some kind of often landscape, beautiful landscape, that should be so to say, um, simply there and we can grasp it in just one glance. But uh, actually, uh, when we think about the nature uh, uh, in daily life, beyond all this representation, we see actually that nature is basically something that we heavily exploit. And our ideology toward nature is exploitative ideology. This is this dominant ideology that we talk about. And we actually don't think at all about the nature's ideology. What is the ideology of nature? It is not so easy to represent this or to imagine this, so we will try to deal with these aspects and uh, um, especially when it comes to the question of ideology, because ideology is um, something inherent to humans, to human relations, to politics, to uh, all kind of, uh, so to say, um, humans, uh, so to say, relations and, uh, and ideas. So it is, uh, ideology is not connected to nature. Nature cannot have ideology. But there is something which we can think, maybe more dialectical uh, and speculative and relational. And this is actually the one aspect of the nature which goes beyond the abstraction. And this aspect of nature is let's say, uh, symmetry. And this symmetry is not really there and the symmetry is actually the aspect of ideology that we see. And I will try now to find out this contradiction between symmetry and abstraction. And let's try, I will now try to imagine more abstract moments which are beyond, beyond this. here to think about this abstraction which is sometimes it is those are the colors which are not really defined so it goes more into this undefined abstraction and this abstraction 
is in contrast or in contradiction to symmetry. But how we can see the symmetry from this situation? We will try now to discuss this even more while we try to position the obstruction we will then think about about actually what is the dominant ideology which sees this obstruction as a as a nature or actually sees nature as an obstruction and this obstruction is sometimes similar to for example money to finances and we can when we talk about this we can take maybe some more heavy tools and to spread it to spread this abstraction even more or even even like this you see is dominant ideology and the dominant ideology is actually it keeps us in a certain um, situation where knowledge is not there knowledge is only in the fact that this abstraction is natural to us and this is what is happening because this ideology is practi practically position ourselves in the situation where knowledge is abstract. And knowledge is not abstract. Knowledge needs to be very concrete and very precise. Let me see how it looks like. It's quite abstract until now. So we will try to deal more with this, maybe to have a blink of neutral moments because even in this abstraction you can have passages of daylight and you can imagine these passages so I would say that we are approaching slowly to the end of this abstraction and in order to to have this abstraction even stronger in some aspects, we will try you know, to, to perform one specific activity here, which is um, part of a certain uh, moment how this situation here is done. So, let's make this ideology of abstraction even more find out symmetric moments which are coming out from the abstraction. 
this. This. And maybe here. This yellow color is perfect for this kind of moments. So we try to, to see where is this very this symmetry which is coming out from the abstraction and through this symmetry we can practically try to discover a bit of more white here to mix with a bit of red here and yellow because we need light to imagine it even more and we will have it like this here it is important to to see how it is practically the symmetry is uh, breathing is starting to appear through this abstraction and this symmetry is now uh, practically um, there is a possibility for it to be visible and to see one of the aspects of the ideology of nature's or nature's ideology that we try to think today and to discuss and it is important to to see what is here practically left for us with this certain way of thinking or, or working on it maybe we can take uh, this and now try to have only only beautiful light aspects like this so we will we try to we fight with this in order to produce the proper symmetric aspects which we can maybe discuss later on when we put here enough material we can discuss it even more but in the form of drawing and this is now clear situation and this drawing is appearing before we do that we will take this neutral color and try to think on these gray aspects which can work out and which can help us to to have the take this abstraction even more visible and ready to be. So what we have here, mm, we have some kind of some kind of hybrid, let's say, floral moments. And floral moments are often um, related to the symmetry um, in the nature. So we can say that symmetry and geometry in general is uh, part of the nature's. Uh, ideology. So floral motifs are basically important uh, element that we can uh, with this um, drawing practically try to have in the more stronger let's say aspect and those floral moments are having their own ideology and this ideology is 
the ideology of a hybrid. Uh, moment when this foot is appearing and also where the hand is appearing you see here and this is this situation when we can talk about this symmetry which becomes the logical element of the ideology of nature. It's too much, I need very good, so to say, concentration, because we are talking here about something which needs to be like this as well, and like here. And this floral motif is in the middle of it, but it has different color for the, its floral body. This is what we have here, and similar will be here. We are slowly approaching to the visualization of this element, and this element is practically going into direct action with this red color because sometimes it's nice also to see that this symmetry is not always very symmet symmetrical and repetitive but symmetry is something which has its own which has its own logic and its own atmosphere And it is slowly coming to an end. With this, we are still not finished with the uh, with the hybrid moments here. And here, maybe to use this color because it's, it goes very well, it is symmetrical, but at the same time, it has 
its own logic. Okay, and maybe to use this option here, like this. So it's clear that there are some possibilities which are practically going away and are not alone. You see, so we need sometimes more naturalistic approach and with here we will try to to be quite explicit so one big realistic but also in a way illustrative moment which can accentuate This whole situation here. So we are almost coming to the end. We discovered the. I feel like we managed to discover what is the first element of the nature's ideology, and it is symmetry, it is a contradiction between abstraction and these uh, symmetric floral hybrid moments which are presented here and uh, I think uh, we managed somehow to tackle this topic um, and uh, we are somehow, uh, let's say, uh, ready to continue with it, just like we need to put one small Drop at the end. So, and to see how this looks like, like this. So, I hope you like it, and we will see what we will do in the next sessions.